It's firing. Bullets came through here and went through my, my wall. There's a hole there, a hole here, holes behind the sofa. It sounded like a war zone. A war zone, high-powered machine guns on 7th and Saratoga in this city. Carolina Gallup has two bullet holes in front of her home, three in her SUV, and at least two holes in her metal fence. I'm so shaky right now. I mean, I'm dealing with, we're dealing with coronavirus, we're dealing with hurricanes, and now I have to come and deal with this. Somebody shot up 7th Street between Daniil and South Saratoga in the Central City neighborhood right Wednesday evening around 5.30. Linda Gaelic was playing the piano in the front room of her home when she heard gunshots, a lot of them. And I looked to my left and I saw two guys literally chasing each other, running down the street in front of my house, shooting at each other. Some of the bullets also hit Cora Parker's home. She counted about 20 holes, some in her living room where she would normally be sitting. She happened to be in a back bedroom at the time, watching the evening news. A bullet hole in the curtain, if I had been sitting there at the time, I would have got it. I sit over here, either it just missed me or I would have been hit with the debris that they put up there. This is the one that's holding off for it. That's what my fix here. Police found one man at the corner store down the street. He was taken to the hospital with several gunshot wounds. Neighbors suspect drug dealing is behind much of the crime in their neighborhood. We're not going to war with drug dealers. We're, all I'm saying is we just want a safe neighborhood. We want to be able to come home. Enjoy our sitting on our porch. Miss Cora called the gunfire a sad sign of the times in New Orleans. Why is there so much crime and it's constantly every day someone is being killed in the city and nothing is being done. Neighbors here on 7th Street are now banding together to take a strong stand against crime. At the same time, they'd like to see additional police patrols in their neighborhood. Just stop it. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. None of the neighbors was hurt by the gunfire. We asked the NOPD about the shooting and they didn't have any additional information to report at this time.